All right, we're back at the lair today. I got Lewis here. This is Brett. I guess who else would it be, right? <laughs> Let somebody hijack my camera. I've done one video before on the lair. It's the only third time I've been here. Last time I was here, I did not hear, I did not hear that waterfall. So I think today is gonna to be a lot more wet than it was previously. I think I was here last summer. Um, but before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button and find me on Facebook and ring that bell for notifications, all right? Here's the ravine. It comes out of the, out of the cave right there, flows down this steep ravine through a, another part of the rocky outcrops and into the river. What's nice about coming here in the winter or the early spring before the foliage is out is that you can kind of see things more easily. It's not, it's cause it's quite overgrown right above the, uh, right above the canyon, slot canyon cave, whatever you want to call it right above here. It's pretty overgrown. And in the summer, it's not that easy to kind of poke around whereas it probably is now here. Well, he's getting ready. Let's, Let's go over here. And that's, and remember to check out Lewis's channel, Simply Exploring and Adventuring with Lewis. That's what we're hearing. Okay. So here's a good spot right here where you can kind of look down into the, into it. So I've never seen a waterfall there. I've never seen the water flowing over there. So basically the whole thing is a waterfall now. Starting there, and there's one up there, it kind of rushes down. This is the big log that goes across it. So there you can kind of see down in it there. It's about a 30 foot drop. So the big question here for me is, uh, does there extend beneath this pile of rope? Basically right here is where the slot canyon starts. Here it goes that way. But from here to there, this used to be part of the slot canyon, but then this part here, this whole side, which used to be like this, came crashing down into the, into the, into the, uh, into the fissure. Now, I don't know if that's because they built this road here, but, um, or it could have been just natural, you know, mass wasting. So there is, uh, I did explore one boulder cave right here. It extends under here. There are two more openings, one at the base of the waterfall and one right above that here that look like they extend into here. And this is, this used to be, I'm pretty sure this used to be pretty undercut right here. So you had a big, a big overhanging chunk and boom. So I suspect that there are more boulder caves going back under this heading upstream, maybe even to a, as far as that, because this looks, this whole thing from right there to right there is one big collapse feature. So there could be caves going all through here, up to there. And here comes Lewis. All right, we're gonna head down into the, into the stream gorge here. It's pretty steep. Oh, yeah, oh. So there's, that's the lair right there. That's the entrance. And it comes down here. Flows into a big pool. I've never seen that. There's never been a waterfall there. This stream was very small coming out of here. And it pretty much sank right here in the rubble. Probably came out down there somewhere. But uh, I haven't really explored too much down here. So we could probably do that today as well. Which will make it extra fun. <laughs> I got some of it. There you go. 
It's like a slide. I am finding some drill holes right here. So, this must have been blasted. Oh, it's really wet. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, yeah. You see that hole? Yeah. It's too wet to do it today. Yeah. But see that hole right there? Yeah. That hole leads to the one, to the boulder cave. To the what? There's a cave back there. Oh, I've, okay. I've been in that one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Back in there. I see it turns to the left. Okay. And there's a, there's a cool little window you can peek out of. Maybe you come back here to summer it's dry. It's a good place for a, a picture. Yeah. And then the other cave, there's one there. Back crack there. Yeah. And that's right under there. Yeah, it's that goes too. It's hard to see with the water. Yeah. But it goes back under there. And it does. Because I think this whole thing used to be up, up there. And then when they built the road, they blasted it. It collapsed in here. Crazy. How did you find it? I was looking for a tunnel down there. Oh, okay. And I just came down the slope. And I saw the stream coming out. Oh, yeah. You just followed it? I just followed it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The wear of the water, there's something that's swirling in here. What's that metal thing here? See that? There's a person for scale. I give you a little bit of idea of the scale. It's not that big. Yeah, it gets a little deep there. Nice waterfall. As you can see, this waterfall here, really nice coming right out of the lair. Boom. Comes down here is another one. There's a whole series of them. It's like another little cave over there. Alright, so we made it about halfway to the bottom of the ravine here. There's the lair right there. There's Lewis for scale. Seems to be another cave right here. About a 40 foot cliff, big overhang. About a 50, 60 foot cliff on that side. Look at this ivy over here. I'm just gonna take a peek in here. Where does it go? It goes back there. It goes back in a little cave there. Oh wow, yeah. Oh yeah. 
Definitely. Something goes to the right. Oh, that's where the stream's there. coming. Oh, maybe there's a spring there, huh? So the entrance is right there where Lewis is. It comes out right here. Kind of like a little resurgence, but it's just, this is schist, so. Hey, let me go in there. You want to get a shot of me going in there? Mm -hmm. Let's go check this out. Hopefully it's stable. Maybe it connects to Wind Cave. Huh? I said maybe it connects the whole way to Wind Cave. So that's where the water goes out. And then over here. I'm trying not to get myself, I don't want to get myself too wet. There does appear to be a room here. I think there's a little bit of light there. And this way here. Yeah, the stream comes right out of the underneath that lip there. There's a little, there's a little room there. All right, so now we're going to uh, continue on down this little, this little gorge here. There we go. There's a drill hole right there. So this was definitely affected by the blasting. All right, let's go. Let's go check this out. Looks like we, looks like we came across a little water feature here. Let's see if we can get up here. Yeah, it's a little. Yeah, look at that. Goes right through. Yeah, that's pretty cool. This reminds me of Tuquin, Tuquin Glen right here. Now look at this. So this would have been at stream level, it looks like, a long, long time ago. See, you can see that. It just pops up there. I imagine oh, wow. the, from here, to here there was a, a bed of rock that was more uh, easily break upable. Is that a word? <laughs> so that's that's why this is here and this is here, but then the middle's all hollowed out. Yeah. You can see it here. Goes up through here. I'll go. Yeah. There. there we go. It does it does connect through. As you can see. It was about 10 feet. 15 feet, maybe? Maybe. Well, that's kind of cool. It's, it's just a little pocket. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely water worn, though, you can tell that. It's probably that same bed, just lower down on the, on the wall. Oh, yeah. Let's make for good little homes for the creatures. The tree grew into the rock. Oh, oh wow. Look at that. Oh, well, that's weird. I don't know if you can make this out on the video because of the light, but right here is a big rock coming down and here's a tree. And then right in the middle, this whole section here is actually a tree. Basically, as it was growing, it kind of built up a callus. I'll try to get closer. That's just, I've never seen, I've never seen, I've seen trees grow around signs and stuff. All right, so around this side is a better view. You got all the sunlight on this side, so. Wow. That's a much better view. Right there. <laughs> That's crazy. 